Hello YouTubers, Photofiend here. We're gonna do a quick Photoshop tutorial for you guys on masking. What I think is the second most important thing to Photoshop to learn. The first was adjustment layers, I did that already. So I'm gonna quickly touch on masking. If you get those two things learnt, you are gonna be able to create amazing editing things in the Photoshop, okay? And we're working with Talise here. She's pretty awesome. And uh, this is just a ringlet portrait down in my basement studio. And you guys can probably see why I love the ring light. So we're gonna edit in the Photoshop and see what we can accomplish with a masking tutorial. So masking, what is masking? Masking is basically taking something and slapping it on top of your photograph and you can do two things. You can paint that something away or you can paint that something back. That's masking basically. And how I use masking is uh, just by clicking on this little button here. That's your mask right there when you click on it. Now we touched on adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are right here. Every adjustment layer you have here automatically applies a mask. So I'm gonna just show you how that works. One of my favorite adjustment layers is curves. So what we can do with curves is do our dodge and burn masking, basically. So I'm just gonna make this part dark and now we've created an adjustment layer and it's got a mask on it and let's say it made areas of the photo dark that we don't want dark. So now we can paint those areas back with our masks. So you operate on this white mask here with the opposite color paintbrush. So you're gonna to wanna to use a black paintbrush on a white mask. And if you happen to invert your mask, you'd use a white paint paintbrush on a black mask. So right now we've got a white mask on here. We're gonna grab a brush of around 8%, that's fine. And now I can paint back areas that I think we might have gone too far on. And it's just gonna bring back some of the original, which is underneath this adjustment layer. So it's bringing back the background layer. Now, let's say I want to, for instance, on this image of Talise, I noticed that this part of her arm is looking red and has less of the yellow that appears in the rest of her skin tones here. So I'm gonna to try to match that with masking, but we're gonna go into hue and saturation. We're gonna grab the reds, and we're just gonna make them more yellow. But, as you can see, it made all of her yellow. This is where we get to invert the mask. So I'm gonna Command I or Control I, and right away that gets rid of the adjustment that we put on, but we can paint it on with our mask now. Black mask, we gotta switch over to a white brush and go ahead and start painting where we want it to go. And now you can see we're matching up her skin tone a little bit there. And that's not too bad. Looks a lot better. And that's basically masking in a nutshell. And uh, so, I'm gonna do some more masking and you guys can watch as I finish editing up this photograph. Just gonna put another curve layer on it. I just wanna paint this curve layer on it. So again, Command I, invert. We're on a white brush, black mask, and we're just doing some burning basically of where I want to burn. and I'm just attacking the shadow areas pretty much. And things are looking good. So this is my DIY ring light. This is me editing up the shot, but this is, you know, I owe a lot of uh, the effect of these, or the quality of these portraits to just the lighting, right? That ring light is awesome. I love it. And 
and that's why I use it. It's really awesome. Just gonna get rid of some of that shine and we'll do another curve layer here. Go bright, close, command I that layer, brush, and we can start blending where we want it to blend. So now we're dodging, in case you didn't know. I curved the other way. I'm just blending shadowy areas that I want blended into the highlight areas a bit on this image. Then I'll go a broader brush here and just bring back some of the highlights. And remember guys that less is more. You don't want to over edit. And you've got your background layer that is untouched. And you can take all of these layers here and control group them. And then you can just see what you, we've been doing so far before and after. And you could adjust the opacity on this group if you want to go back to the original a bit. Or since we're talking about masking, we can take this entire group and we can mask it here and then we could again command I invert that mask and all of the adjustments we made we can start painting them on if that's something you want to do but for me I like what we did without painting that on, so we're going to delete that layer mask. And that's pretty much it. That's how I mask. Um, another fun thing you can do with masking is uh, not just ad adjustment layers, but you could go into um, masking other images. This is how I apply my Lightroom presets actually is with masks or just blending them in with the opacity slider here. But let's go say we like this and I'm going to merge them. I'm just going to quickly file save this and it'll save as a TIFF file. And as soon as that's done saving, then I can jump into my Lightroom library. That's going to update and then I can start playing with my presets and then I can go into Photoshop and totally get out of here. And what I can do is jump into Lightroom and I'm just going to pull that back a bit and I can edit this in the Photoshop and what did I put on? I put on before Russia there so we jump into Photoshop again and this is how I mask or blend my images with presets and we're gonna grab what is this Photoshop we're gonna go to the here take that original go there and now we can either adjust the opacity to blend these or we can stick a mask on it and start brushing it where we want it white mask black brush and just brushing her just to get rid of that brightness so she's not lit like crazy it just makes it a little bit more realistic but again all this stuff that I'm doing is entirely preference preference based it's up to your personal tastes right and you can do that and then we can merge those and I could file save those and then I could go let that save let that I update into the Lightroom and then I could go mother Russia and then I could go do the whole thing all over again in here. And we're just masking or blending different versions that we've done uh, because a lot of the Lightroom presets are just a little bit overkill or if you've done some overkill in your editing, then you can go back. And we're just gonna check this one out. That's masking, guys. 
So I'm going to finish this up, post it on 500px, and go eat some dinner. Okay, bye.